something happening in my ear. Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is your deep sleep. Whisper Hypnosis And I've no idea what number it is Which means Absolutely Nothing So Before we start As Usual Please ask you to take your shoes off. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Something that I don't often mention is I do mention feeling comfortable, but I rarely mention about the clothing that you're wearing and how could maybe do something about that to make yourself feel a bit more comfortable. For example, I would suggest when you're listening to me, don't wear a full suit, you know, like you're about to go to a business meeting or something or discuss the building of a new bridge or something like that I would suggest if you're able to listen to this at home perhaps wear uh, tracksuit bottoms or something with an elasticated waistline that's loose or if you choose you can undo the top undo the the buttons on the trousers it's totally up to you but of course if you were listening to this in a public place only when you can safely close your eyes of course uh, it's probably best to keep your trousers on. I think there's some rules about that. Other things like shoes. I think it's a good idea. Like I always... If I did anything like meditation or self-hypnosis... I would not be wearing any shoes. Uh, what else? I suppose make sure that if you're wearing socks that they're not too mentioning this because lately I've been wearing socks that were too tight and I didn't realise it and I've got a little bit of an ingrown toenail on my big right toe on the outside by the outside um, I mean on the Side a bit of the toe rather than the in, inner where the other toes are. Yeah, so you need to look after your toes. I'm usually okay with that stuff, but 
I think it must be the socks that I've been wearing either that or one of my nails is ingrown so I'm gonna what else are you with your feet if you're not able to just have your feet be I was gonna say empty but you know bare or just with socks on or slippers what I would suggest is comfortable shoes so no high heels uh, no mountain boots uh, ideally you just fit like it's common sense but if you're about to listen to me about to relax uh, don't attach snowboard to your feet beforehand you know just allow yourself the space no flippers, no space boots, you know, just generally feeling relaxed. The same as, you know, generally, generally you probably wouldn't need to wear gloves inside, hopefully. So that's another thing. Maybe wear less clothes, nice and loose. I even take my glasses off when I do self-hypnosis. I make sure they're close by though. And just randomly drop them on the floor. Because that would be weird. So that's... Uh, So I did mention only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes but it's important because you don't want to be listening to anything that might be relaxing when you're driving or uh, I don't know, anything ice skating you know just general you need to be safe you need to be comfortable you need to be safe What you may notice, having listened to me, if you've been listening to me regularly, is that you find a sense of comfort, relaxation and sleepiness come over you fairly quickly, just pretty much it can even start before you press the play button. Before you sit down, lie down, getting comfortable, preparing to feel sleepy. So even though I spent Close, I'd like you to imagine the word insomnia just in your mind. The word insomnia, it can be in capital letters, it can be in joined up writing. It's up to you. And as you see that. insomnia you can notice that actually there's more to it 
it's made up of individual pieces of paper all stacked on top of each other to form the word insomnia maybe some of the words are different colours different grades of grey different shades of grey until now is that on each piece of paper is something that used to bother you from the past and you can pick up a piece of paper from the top of the pile and you can look at it and you can see written on it just a short Describing something that used to bother you from the past, something that maybe lingers, something that's of no use to you. And you can put it back on the pile, noticing just how light that piece of paper is. Thin and light. In fact, as you put it back, you notice the, the pieces of paper underneath it move. Because it all moves very easily because the paper is so light. And as you step back, to just affect the paper starts to just move some of those pieces of paper off the top blowing it away just gently to start with it's as if do you know that feeling when you turn a corner and it's really windy you didn't realise how windy it was until you turned that corner well that's what's happening here is the wind is about to turn the corner as it builds up it becomes stronger and you're watching from a distance safely Joy, seeing the paper start to be blown around, maybe not all 
starts to look a bit like dust or like one of those little snow globes you know the ones that you shake instead of snowflakes it's pieces of useless paper just moving around sometimes in a circle does it have? 